this is Sir Tap Tap, and let's play. Mighty Switch Force Hyperdrive Edition! I love when I say it out loud so I don't have to say it. it Save me from saying several syllables. Let's I'm all go. about saving the syllables. Stop in the name of the law! But yeah, this is basically like a Mega Man platformer plus a puzzle game. And you like. Basically, the gimmick is that you switch these blocks here. And. You're trying to collect Justice all of these sir! hot blonde criminals for, uh, reasons. Checkpoint. And your dog is your checkpoint. Isn't he cute? <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of platforming between gotcha. switching, uh, layers of blocks and some other gimmicks we'll see later on. Checkpoint. And the enemies feature with dif differing levels of, uh, Checkpoint. And it's very similar to Mega Man in that if you touch spikes or if a block appears over where you are, you will die immediately. You have three lives, but the way lives work is sort of weird. Basically, both a death if you get hit by an enemy will take away one life, but if you're hit by an enemy, you don't immediately have to restart. Which is untrue of if you hit spikes or if you get knocked out of the map by um, one of these blocks phasing into you, it's uh, you have to restart. You end the level by getting into your giant rocket launcher shouldered robot thing and having a spa with him. Cause he's uh, he's probably rust proof or something. And look at the dog. He's got he's got some eye issues going on there. That is some majorly lazy eye. Let's go ahead into the... I'm into the bonus Let's missions. Go. I'll just play through a few of these to show you some of the more Stop advanced in the mechanics name of the here. Law. Oh, and I was using the bonus gun you get for beating. Once you beat the main game, you get access to that bonus gun that kills enemies in one hit. <laughs> this is your normal gun, which sucks against certain enemies, like... Terrible. That guy. Checkpoint! But yeah, there's lots of stuff like this, like switching between different layers. And it can be tricky to determine exactly off right. when you need to jump like Let's that. Go. And the final real level had a really cool touch to it. It was like a boss level. Well, it was a boss level. And, uh... Well, I won't spoil it, but it has a very unique gimmick, and I really Just liked it. Sir. They used the switching in a very interesting way, and I like that. Shit. Oh, she dies like uh, Samus in uh, Super Metroid. I thought that was a neat reference. Let's go. Um. In the name of the yeah, this is on the Wii U eShop. Um, it's really one of the few download-only titles on there, and it's... I got it for five bucks, which is a definite buy for five bucks. I think it's ten dollars now, but... It'll keep you entertained for a while, and it... I really like WayForward's games, they... They're always just really charming graphics and music. And... I've never... I haven't played too many. I played Shantae, or however you pronounce that, on uh, iPad. The interface wasn't lovely, gotcha. but the game was really fun. That's a... Uh, it's basically a Metroidvania game. And this game isn't super long, but it's got enough content to be worth 10 bucks. I definitely recommend it if you got a Wii U and you're wanting for games. If you have a Wii U, I know you're wanting for games, let's be honest. I basically got this thing from Pikmin 3. Checkpoint. Though Nintendo Land, if you don't have Nintendo Land, you need to get Nintendo Land. I also have Zombie U, which is interesting but significantly flawed. Um, this and Nintendo Land are currently my only major must play things on the Wii U. Though there's a dual stick shooter also out there for it. It's like also 10 bucks. It's not as good as Buddy Switch Force. Oh, and I assume this is the same thing as there's also a Mighty Switch Force for 3DS for the eShop or the DSiWare 
whatever the hell. I assume this is basically the same thing except HD. This is the level I just did. Is this the level I just did? It looks... No, it just looks very... Crap. Yeah, that's what happens when you... Let's go! Get phased into a block. They're just reusing this very similar gimmick to the last level, so I got confused. The game's pretty fun. You get into sort of a gotcha. Mega Man style autopilot, which I really like. I'm a big fan of the Mega Man X series, the Zero, and everything coming after X. Basically. Um, Sometimes it's tricky stuff like that where you have to know Checkpoint. in advance when you're going to press the button. It's not super hard, but it's fun enough to try and beat the uh, par times on all Let's the levels. Go. Some of the levels are fairly challenging the first time through. You got to figure out, you know, it's a puzzle game. You got to figure out what you're trying to do. That's reload. Checkpoint! There aren't usually super precise jumps, but sometimes there are, and it sort of throws me off when they are that precise. I mean, it's usually... I don't know how to say it, but it's like... It's usually like most old-school platformers where... You have like one block of tolerance whenever you're doing a jump, and it jumps are spaced well enough that... Probably Let's won't go. fail as long as you don't go and screw up the timing. <laughs> and so usually other Yummy. elements like enemies or switching time introduces the actual tricky platforming. <laughs> I always forget those guys have an area of effect when they die. Which sounds weird because they're bombs, but you can walk through their... Did I seriously never finish that? I wonder if that looks familiar. Let's show you a level I know I can beat. Let's Just go. random crap. Stop in the name of the law now. Oh, and some of these levels require you to um, kite around enemies like these guys. <laughs> it's almost always the bombs that you gotta move around. Basically, you want to get them into the purple launchers. Yeah. And then they hit those breakable blocks, and you break blocks. Yummy. Also, she looks so pissed at all times. Like, look at that. Oh, crap. But I love the, uh... Justice, the sprite work is really, really good. I hope to see more stuff like this on Nintendo on the Wii U. It's fairly uncommon for animated games to be really good 1080p. Uh, especially in fighting games, I've noticed Skullgirls is really the only full-on 1080p game that has like really good 2D animation that I've seen. I'd love to see a lot more games like this, like. Not everything has to be 3D to look awesome. You can have stuff like this. Here's another one of those things where you gotta... You gotta switch time, or switch phase, or whatever you wanna call it, like immediately after they enter the cannon. that you're catching them. They, they ran away from you, but you know, yeah. now that you're running around shooting guns and stuff, they're just fine. They're not gonna yeah. die. Yes. Yeah. I thought this was a fun use of these two. Yeah. Also, we 
apparently have slightly different hitboxes. I wouldn't have suspected that would happen there. This one. Now. Oh yeah. I don't like this one. Now. This one gave me some trouble. Checkpoint. I think that was the only reason it gave me trouble, to be honest. It's not what I meant to do. Controls are pretty simple if you didn't Check notice. Point. The real key is just timing and planning out what you're gonna do in certain areas. Why didn't you help me arrest them? You're a very useless robot, you know that. Yay, new record that also sucks. That was Mighty Switch Force Hyperdrive Edition. And if you like puzzles and or Mega Man, it's definitely worth a shot in my opinion. It's definitely better than most of what I see on the Wii U for now. I want Pikmin. Why is Pikmin not out? I 